Alright guys, first of all, what you need is a deer tail. So let's go ahead and bring it in. And there it is. Alright, most important thing. Make sure you have a very sharp knife. I prefer my Gerber or my Leatherman. They are very sharp blades. What we want to do is start underneath the skin, right underneath here, and you want to stay on the bottom side of this. So you're going to separate the fur and work your way down slowly. Don't be afraid to push down because you want to get through that hide. It's just like gutting a deer. Then you can see how you right down to the meat. And then just continue to work that line real straight. Now doing it this way also, you can use this tail to make fly fishing lures with the hair. A lot of fly fishermen like this, tying their own flies. <clears throat> and what you wanna do is follow this all the way down. <clears throat> Absolute best straight line that you possibly can. without slipping off and getting your finger because it's going to come all the way down to right here so make sure you're staying on the bone and if you come off the edge of the bone it's all right If you split it because you can hot glue it together later so all you're gonna do now is start peeling off the bone or off the meat so you're gonna skin it now You don't want to go too fast because you don't want to cut through the hair. All I'm doing is following the edge of the bone and keeping the tip at the bone and it helps pull the skin off. And then just work the other side the same way. Just like if you were skinning your deer. Just pull it right off the meat. Basically, this is a slow process, so I'll probably right here speed this up, show a, a 
fast video until I get to the And you don't want to cut through that blue section right here because if you cut too deep then you're going to be pulling the hair out so just work it real slow and all you're doing is taking the material that holds the skin to the bone see you don't want to pull too fast because then you pull the hair through just like that it's not what we want to do so we're going to continue to work sideways like this all the way down <clears throat> then roll it and work the other side That's the thing. Deer tail is super, super thin. You don't want to overdo it too fast and create a problem. Because remember, we're trying to do this for a display. Kind of tedious, but it's worth it, and it's pretty cool because, especially if you have a doe, no rack. You know what? Sometimes you just want something to show for it. You put the work in. Make sure you get it. Like I said, that goes super far down in there, man, almost all the way to the point. Make sure you don't get your finger, too. Because that'd be a son of a bitch. Here, I missed the back of it. But that's okay. Because we're going to hot glue that in a little while. Just not today. Take a little bit of that hair. And then you take the meat and the bone over there so what we're going to do is we don't want that little nub we'll just cut that off of there same thing with this just a little bit of fat it's supposed to be using a sharp knife apparently it's not as sharp as I thought it was and we're just going to clean this up So you can see right here I messed up. But when I'm done with it, we're gonna hot glue that thing back in there, just like that, and we're gonna have a nice tail. First, <clears throat> now that this part is done, now it's time to salt. All right, guys. So now that we've got this all skinned out and laid out. We're just going to take regular eye dye salt right here and we're going to sprinkle it on there real heavy real heavy 
because what we want to do is we want to coat that and dry this out. Spread it out. Make sure it stays in there real nice because we want to cover this whole skin on the inside. But when we're doing it, we want to also try and make sure that this is straight, staying as straight as possible, right? Because when it dries, that's how we want it, straight. So that's all we're going to do right now. So we're going to find a flat surface. And then we're going to find something heavy and flat and put on the top of it to hold it down. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we're going to scrape the salt off, lay it out flat again, and then we're going to re-salt it again. And this is going to take a couple of days. But when we're done, we'll have a nice, nice doe tail display. All right, guys, real fast, I'm back out in my garage right now. So I said we want to lay this flat, and you want to put something on top of it that's also flat. So this big old flat piece of oak right here, just lay it right on top, just like that. And all that's going to do is keep the skin from curling in like this, right? You want to keep it flat. So we're going to let this sit overnight. And uh, we'll come back out tomorrow. Like I said, we'll pull the board off. We'll scrape all the wet salt off of it. We'll sprinkle it with more salt. And we'll do this probably, you know, a couple of days. So make sure it's all dried. And then I'll show you in just a second what they look like when they're all done. All right, so I'm down here in my basement. There's a deer tail right there on my fireplace. Then here's another tail right there. They look a little bit dusty right now, but they look good. All right, guys. <clears throat> Day two of salting this white tail tail. So as before, I said, have something heavy, er, and flat. See all the moisture there? So you can hold this down. Now you want to do is scrape all this moist salt off. Get it all off of there. It doesn't matter if it's in the fur or not because it'll dry up and you can shake it out. And then all you do Just that piece that I cut it was so thin at the tip. But now all you're gonna do is resalt it. Get a good coating on there. And that's it. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put that board back on there so it's nice and flat. We'll use the other end. Then that's it. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey, so now that we've done that tail, we've had it on with salt every day and then scraping it for three days. So four days, um, did that for four days and then I took the salt off of the tail and then I went ahead and I just left it on the cardboard and uh, put the board back on it so that it, as it dried out it would pretty much stay flat because you don't want to work it a whole lot because it's going to be kind of stiff. But either way, <clears throat> let's go check it out and see how it turned out. Alright, so here we are. That's pretty darn good.
And I did hot glue it already. I don't know if you can see it right there or not, but either way, as I said, you know, this little bottom part tore a little bit, but it's nothing that you can't fix with a little bit of hot glue. It's, nobody's going to see it anyhow. But there it is. Now you got a pretty white tail, deer tail, that you can hang up on your wall, your fireplace mantle, wherever you want to put it. You can even put it with the rack, but there is no rack for this one because it was a doe. Thank you very much, and if you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so I can bring you more stuff like this in the future. Thanks, guys.